Our basic spam deck is limited in that we need to spend quite a bit of time holding down Savage Sonata in order to charge it. The only thing our avatar can do while charging this glyph is auto attack. We can still gain the benefit of a fully powered up Savage Sonata without having to spend so much time unable to invoke our other abilities if we take advantage of dynamic stacking. I've made a copy of the previous video's spam deck and named it Less Lazy Mode. You can see that Savage Sonata is now dynamic. Our deck contains five copies of it and I've reserved both slots two and three for only Savage. Parry and Dodge have been moved to slot one with the attack glyphs. I do this because I still want the defensive bonus but now my extra stacking slot will fulfill the need for a second empty slot. Now when I enter combat, I will occasionally get Savage cards popping up on slots 2 and 3. This could become a problem if both slots 2 and 3 are full. In this case, it is possible to draw another Savage card and not have a slot to place it in. This causes a decrease in the rate of cards flowing into your hand. However, as long as I prioritize stacking as soon as both slots 2 and 3 are filled, they will not get in the way of the spam deck slot. This deck shows how much more quickly a glyph can be stacked versus how quickly it can be charged. This advantage gets more important for glyphs with higher charge times and is maximized for bard songs, which have extremely long charge times. Also. Stacking never gets in the way of using other glyphs. I can extend this style of stacking by adding an extra stacking glyph. Maybe I want to increase my damage by occasionally throwing out a stacked ground pound, but I don't want to give up the time it takes to charge it when I could be using other glyphs. I can make ground pound a dynamic slot, add more ground pounds to my deck, and move it around so that it fits with my stacking style. Now I can occasionally throw out fully stacked ground pounds while not impacting my ability to spam. Note that with multiple stacking glyphs it may be difficult to keep an extra stacking slot clear, which will slow down spamming on slot 1. If this is the case we can always give up one of our static glyphs to move parry and dodge back to their own slot. 